what up what up beautiful people welcome back to the channel today we're going to be going over insane unstoppable offense and down in the comment section somebody asked me how do you pick up blitzes like the mid blitz etc etc well i got y'all go ahead drop a thumbs up on the video appreciate all the love and support 20k comment in the comment section roll to 20k and if you have any kind of questions, you need tips or help on anything, let me know in the comment section. I respond to every single comment. Let's get into the breakdown. All right, yesterday we broke down the USC offense. Today, we're going to be doing the same thing in how to pick up blitzes. Empty, quads, halfback. Now, if you are struggling in the red zone, if you are struggling against certain defenses, let your boy know in the comment section and I'll cook it up for y'all, okay? So, bubble screen, slot pivot, all go, bubble, all curl. You can use all of them. The play we're going to come out in, of course, is stick. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, the first thing, super important, I'm going to go here, I'm going to push L1 or LB, I'm going to hold it. And I'm going to slide to the right, right stick to the right. Okay. Now I'm going to pull up the ID feature and I'm going to move him over here. Okay. So I'm going to ID this guy. Now on the right hand side, you can do anything with the triangle. We're going to be motioning either the X or the R1. So if you motion the X, put the R1 into the post. If you motion the R1, put the triangle into a slant, a zig, anything like that. So we're going to put him into a zig for our uh, quick check down. And then we're going to motion R1. So go over to R1. And once you get to the right foot of number 63, we're going to hike the ball. So we're going to get to the right foot, hike the ball, stay in the pocket. Boom, we got the zig. And now we have an easy touchdown down the field. It don't matter if it's press coverage. It don't matter how they are playing. It's going to be a GG. Okay, so you also have the zig. They can do different shades. You can set it up super fast. We're going to slide. Then we're going to come right here. We're going to do the ID feature. Bring them right here. Now we're going to go here and switch it. We're going to put a zig by him, a slant by the running back, and then we're going to go ahead and motion R1 this time. So you never want to give them the same look every single time. We have the zig. Hit that right there. Take out a couple yards. Okay, so that moves us to the 40-yard line. So we're going to move the ball up to the 40-yard line. All right, so now we're on the 40-yard line. We're going to slide. We're going to come right here, use the ID feature, ID him. This time, we're going to go ahead, put this running back into the post, and then we're going to motion that same guy. So this X guy, we're just going to mix it up so they don't know who the user. We're going to bring him right to that foot, hike the ball, boom. He's going to pick him up. Now we have a wide-open touchdown from a different person. Okay, so we get to about the 25. Okay, so we're moving down the field. Now we're on a different hash mark around the 25 right there. Make sure that you drop a thumbs up on the video. It's different things that you can do. Now, if you don't want to slide protect and you just want to pick up the entire blitz, just go ahead, make sure that you ID this furthest guy and the motion block. Now, it's different things you can do. You can go ahead, put that guy into a comeback over there as long as you have enough time in the pocket. He's going to be watching for that slant. So you can take the slant off, put him into a drag, put him into a zig, and then you can uh, streak the X and then rocket catch if you want to. But it's all the same type of uh, concept. Bring him over. Boom. Make your read. We got this over here. Let him get his route going. Boom. Down to around the uh, six-yard line. So now we back on the right hash mark. Come over here, somewhere around here. Okay, and from this formation, you also can set your uh, audibles and come down here to runs. Okay, so you can set up runs, traps, all that. Come into a run play in the red zone. It's going to make that person that's user in him move out of the way because that's who he's supposed to be guarding. Okay, so from there, you're just going to find a gap. Boom, get a good block, spin, get into the touchdown. Okay, so the user is going to have to try to move around. We get to about the two-yard line over here. And then you just go into your audibles, okay? So always, you have your play to get down the field. You have your play to block blitzes. And then you just set audibles. 
So you can come into that same formation, come in here and sub people. You're going to keep your running back in. You're going to come right here. Now you can be creative and put more tight ends in in the uh, formation because then you can audible down. Okay. So actually you want to keep a wide receiver right there and then just put a tight end over here to the outside because in case you want to do the bubble screen so now you set up for the bubble screen make sure you have that in the audibles and when you come out we're just going to do a random play so we're going to do a random double mug we don't know if it's going to be man so this right here is letting you know it's not the man look because we have that extra cornerback on the left hand side okay so now once we audible we're going to go into small formations okay because we didn't put tight ends and stuff in so now you have a chance to go into different formations okay so now you have the big boys up front you have the two tight ends and then if it is man or you want to double check you can do the motion see if somebody follows them nobody follows them so bring them back across right here boom straight up the gut easy easy touchdown now you can do one tight end that will put you into a different package you can do all tight ends in the fullback if you want to that'll put you into a smaller package but the key is you coming out in the random defense you can see they have the one-on-one -on -one to the left you have the one guy over the top and then you have all these people to the right so that lets me know it's some type of man coverage okay now if you was to look at this and you put this triangle into a drag it's a chance that he's going to be manned up with a zone over the top okay so in the red zone i'm going to always come out in that formation no matter what the look is and i'm going to take the chance to run the ball at least two or three times he's going to have to show me that he can uh stop me now once you audible and you see that look anytime you see two linebackers in a running situation it's a chance that somebody's going to be blitzing heavy so from there i will go into a play action and you can just go out route with the tight end you can do in route with the uh o icon and you're just going to do a play action look for heavy blitz make a good pass right here easy touchdown okay it's a lot of things you can do in the red zone but the key is picking up the initial blitz by using the motion okay so if there's any other questions that you have let me know in the comment section that is what i'm here for we on road to 20k and i want to help you guys out as much as possible Okay, so now when you come out in this type of look, you can see, oh, okay, he learned this lesson. He got too high. We in random nickel mug instead of only the man coverage look. So I don't think he's blitzing everybody. Okay, when I see a look like this, it's a chance that he's blitzing. But when I see two high safeties, how can they be manned up the way they are supposed to? We put him into a zig. We put him into a drag. If they do blitz everybody, somebody's going to be open. You're going to hike the ball. You're going to make your reads. Okay, so... If it's not an all-out blitz, somebody's going to be open. We're going to look at that. I'm just going to look at my check down. I'm going to have two reads, okay? So he's blitzing, he's blitzing, he's blitzing. He's dropping off in coverage. We got good pickup right there, even with the blitz. So we have the zig and then a backside drag, okay? So you give yourself a high-low read. The user can't guard everything. And then you have a post behind it, okay? So if you stay in the pocket, that will turn into a one-play touchdown. So we have that same high look again. You can go zig, drag, and then we have that backside post. If it's that same type of look, we can wait in the pocket, hit that post across right there. Now it turns into a cover three beater. I hope you all enjoy the video and the breakdown. If you want more breakdowns like this, let me know what you want me to go over, and I'll do that for you all. Now we got this type of look, okay? So boom. Now we can go back into our small formation if you didn't make your audibles. So he's going to come into the box. He's going to go off to the right. Now we have the numbers. So I could just flip the run, follow the people, boom, go up the gap. And look, we turned that into a one-play touchdown off of the run. And that's super easy. And then that's when you start celebrating and you make your opponent feel a little salty. Let's go.